because I'll try to have a detailed look at the controversy about four POWs, prisoners of war, shown by Tegrai on Tegrai TV. Tegrai authorities claim that these are four uh, Iratian defense force soldiers who were taken prisoner. Uh, during last week's fighting on Tigray Eritrea border, but uh, an uh, other news source has shared some evidence that at least one of the four POWs is not a soldier. He is. Uh, uh, he has been exempted from military training. He has some mental health problems. We'll have a detailed look at. Uh, uh, the position of the two sides, then we'll try to give you our analysis at the end. Firstly, what did Tigray say about these four persons? Uh, what are their names? Who are they? What did they say in their interviews on Tigray TV? Tigray TV showed these four uh, people, uh, these four youth as uh, soldiers of uh, Iratian Defense Force, EDF. You can see them on your screen. Uh, number one in the line is Umar Usman Muhammad. Tigray TV said uh, and Umar Usman said uh, that he was from 57th Division, 2nd Brigade and 3rd Battalion of Eritrean Defense Force. So Tigray made the identity of Umar Usman Muhammad clear as a soldier. Last in the line, uh, uh, who you can see in military uniform, is Jibyo Kifle Demeze. Uh, Jibyo Kifle Demeze is also from 57th Division uh, and 1st Battalion of Eritrean Defense Force. Uh, he joined EDF uh, in November 2021, just a few months ago. The two uh, in civilian clothes are the persons about which uh, questions are being raised. Number two in the line is Samare Gebrehivet Veldo. And uh, number three is Gebro Alazar. Uh, Tigray TV claim that these two in civilian clothes are also Eritrean Defense Force soldiers. They were interviewed and the person uh, in yellow shirt, uh, number two in the line, confessed various crimes that he committed. He said that uh, he killed seven persons, seven people in Adirath, eight in Adwa, nine in Rama. So he confessed that he killed 24 uh, civilians in Tigray. Secondly, he said that he raped six uh, women, uh, five women in Adwa, six in Adirath, six in Rama and uh, six in Shiraro. So he confessed that he raped 23 women. Questions were raised about this uh, boy, uh, Samere Gebrehivot Veldo. Now, when Gaita Choreda tweeted about uh, this development, he said that uh, on the 24th of May, uh, 57th and uh, uh, 21st divisions of Eritrean Defense Force launched a military offensive on Tigray, but it was repelled and 300 EDF soldiers were killed and wounded. He did not make a mention of any uh, POWs. Later, uh, Tigray-backed news sources, Tigray TV, DW TV claimed that four EDF soldiers had been taken prisoner. Katasho did not make uh, any mention of uh, POWs. Now, uh, Tigray's position clear, these are four EDF soldiers. But Tigray only uh, 
provided details uh, of two uh, individuals, Umar and Yabu, that they were from 57th Division. The guy did not share details about Sambre and Gabro, that from which divisions, which battalions they were. Then last night, uh, uh, a news uh, source, a channel, interviewed uh, Samre Gebre Hivert's brother. His brother lives in Germany. His name is Kiflom Gebre Hivert Veldo. Kiflom Gebre Hivert Veldo was interviewed by Solo Media. The guy wearing black shirt is Samre Gebrehivot Veldo's brother who lives in Germany and the one in uh, yellow shirt is the host of Solo Media. What did Kiflom Gebrehivot Veldo said? He said his brother Samre Gebrehivot Veldo who was shown as a soldier of Eritrean Defense Force has serious mental problems. He was exempted from military training. We know that in Eritrea, military training is mandatory for all youth. Because of his mental problems, uh, he was exempted from military training. And at the age of five, he suffered from malaria. That is why he developed some uh, mental illness. He's on medication. And he lives with his family in Shashabit town. Shashabi town is on Tigray Eritrea border. Uh, it's on Eritrea side of Tigray Eritrea border. Kiflom says that around two months ago in uh, April, his brother uh, was taking care of uh, cattle uh, outside uh, their home when he was abducted. Uh, and then uh, Yesterday, they saw him on Tigray TV that he was uh, a soldier of Eritrean Defense Force. Keflom says that his brother is mentally challenged. He's on medication. He has not received any military training. He's not part of Eritrean Defense Force. He has not committed any killings, any rapes. So these are baseless allegations against uh, Sambre Gebre Vot Valdo. So, the two sides uh, have shared the evidence. Uh, uh, people would say, how did Tigray fighters manage to enter Eritrea and abduct a person from there? It means that uh, Eritreans are not in control of their territories, uh, or it's a lie. People say that border is not. Uh, demarcated and border incursions do happen there. This place, Shashabat, uh, is uh, not very far away from Badme, Badme Triangle, the disputed territory. Now, Tigray did not clarify uh, about the name of uh, division, uh, battalion of this person, Samre Gebrehe Watwell. And the way he confessed his, uh, allegedly, the way he confessed crimes, uh, so it was uh, as if uh, he was under duress or he did not know what he was talking about. That is what I mentioned in a previous video, that statements of POWs should not be taken as truth, should not be taken as reliable because the statements are not in free environment. They are in custody of uh, a rival force. So whatever they'll be told, they'll speak on screen to uh, protect themselves from persecution, from uh, torture. Now, this evidence shared by Solo Media is very convincing. Now, Tigray should clarify, it should respond, if it has something to respond. Uh, but it seems, I think, the two persons shown, uh, Umar and Jebyo Kefle, they were shown in uh, uniform, and uh, Tigray shared details about their uh, divisions uh, and uh, battalions as well. They could be from EDF. 
But questions uh, are about these two people, these two youth, uh, Samre and Gabro. Now question viewers is how will a tooth come out? It's not difficult. Tegarai should hand over these four people to a third party, not to Eretia. But these four uh, young men should be handed over to Red Cross or some other body, which should investigate and share details about the identity of these uh, four uh, youth, Omar, Yabjo, Gebro and Samre. Will Tegarai do it? Tegarai should do it because, because now uh, if Tegarai is claiming that uh, these are uh, EDF soldiers, now Tegarai must uh, let some international independent body uh, investigate. Let's see. Will Tegarai do it? We'll uh, keep you updated if, if, if uh, Tegarai decides to make such a move. But so far it seems that uh, Tegarai's narrative uh, about uh, these four persons uh, is being challenged by Eretian news sources with evidence. How will Tigray counter this evidence? That remains to be seen. Thanks for watching.